Welcome to our presentation on the Programmable RF Load Simulator. This project was a collaboration of electrical, mechanical, and computer engineers. Our customer makes high-powered radio frequency generators, which are used in the computer chip making process. A laboratory setup is needed to test the generators, including high-power equipment such as large capacitors and a plasma chamber. The COVID-19 pandemic has had a huge impact on work protocols in general. As per health professional and government guidelines, many people have opted to work from home. However, this is pretty much not an option for those that work in the high-power systems industry. Testing a high-power system requires a lab setting, so this product will help employees safely work from home. Our project is meant to be plugged into a standard wall outlet and a computer to safely simulate an RF load at home. Our team's goal is to design and build a portable test fixture that mimics the plasma chamber and large capacitors needed in a high-power system lab. This device will be easily carried by hand and ideal for any home office environment. The simulator will first measure the voltage and current of the critical radio frequency signal that is being created by the generator. This information will then be sent back to the generator so the signal can be calibrated. The load selection uses an 8-way switch to channel the input signal through a variety of different loads. These different loads allow us to view how the input signal may change or behave when presented with different circumstances. The matching network takes the input signal and uses various components to simulate more or less power efficiency in the connected plasma load. The user chooses a specific load and given the matching network settings, there will be more or less power loss. This will be used to analyze potential plasma loads the customer may want to use in the future. In real life, plasma displays complex electrical characteristics. To simulate these characteristics, the input signal is passed through various combinations of resistors and capacitors. Capacitors store and release charge somewhat like a battery. This adds a complexity to the path that the input signal has to pass through, and thus changes it in a drastic way, similar to the plasma it is simulating. User command inputs from a computer are received and processed by a microcontroller. Assuming the command follows the proper instruction rules, it will toggle the necessary switches on our designed PCB to achieve the desired test settings. This would normally be done manually in a lab with a plasma chamber and large mesh network. The enclosure was designed to be a lightweight and portable housing for the PCBs. It features a removable panel so that the internal components can be easily accessed during operation. It also includes external connectors for easy connectivity. Another design criteria was ensuring that the board components did not overheat during operation. So a thermal calculation was performed to determine how much cooling is necessary to keep the enclosure cool. Overall, we've had a lot of fun helping put this project together and got great experience for our futures, and we hope that our work on this project helps our customers, employees, to safely and effectively work from home during the COVID-19 pandemic and into the future.